Welcome to Let's Talk News. Now I have here the insightful, the intelligent, the articulate, and the lady killer, Mr. Dave Robbins. Wow. <laughs> well, you're the one who always says that you look like a, there's a certain actor that you sometimes get confused with. Well, since it is right around the 5th of May, La right. Bamba, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, it's a, so you, can you do that? Can you do a little bump? No. No, okay, just thought, just thought I'd ask. Yeah, I think it's actually kind of fun, though. We've got so many things that are going on this weekend. Obviously, uh, myself and Ella are going to be here at Michoacan. Did I say, it? Did I say that close? Michoacan. Michoacan. Everybody's, everybody else can say it but me. I have not figured that part out for nothing, but I but it, got it. All right. We're going to be here today because the party begins. We're going to be here tomorrow because the festivities, the dancing, and everything else. Are you going to swing over here? You got time to swing? Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. But there is. There's a lot of things that are going on this weekend. The Beautiful. Kentucky Derby. A lot of Kentucky Derby fight, flight, fights. A lot of Kentucky Derby parties. <laughs> I'm just digging myself in. And then there's also there's a fight. There's, Not with the horses. Not with the horses. <laughs> you know more about the fighting than what I do because you have some background in that. So I know that Mayweather's fighting. Right. Okay. Who's the other guy? I just want to know who he's beating. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Does it really matter? Mm, probably not. Just for the other guy. Yeah. Yeah, whoever his insurance and stuff is with. But, Dave, one of the things that ends up going on is this, is that we have, uh, we're, this is Las Vegas, and you're a retired Metro Police officer, along with being a lookalike for certain, you know. <laughs> but when you've got this much partying going on, Cinco de Mayo, parties downtown, so on and so on, one of the things we have to be responsible about, and I remind people, to be responsible with their alcohol consumption, right. correct? And this, this is a party town. The biggest problem we have here is obviously the impaired drivers. Um, there's going to be a lot of alcohol flowing. Mm -hmm. There's going to be, I'm sure there's going to be some checkpoints. Um, the thing people have to understand though, when they're drinking, they have to monitor what they're doing. And the whole myth of, you know, drinking coffee or you know, whatever, it's a, it's a myth. If you give coffee to a drunk, you just have a caffeinated drunk. I was, just, I was waiting for you to give that line. I think that's the funniest line ever. The only thing you got is a wake drunk instead right. of a sleep drunk. Okay. So all those myths, you know, all these things that supposedly metabolize the alcohol out of your system, they, they don't work. The only, the only thing that works is time. Yeah. So the, the, the standard is usually four beers, four regular beers will or, put you over the limit for oh. about a 180 pound man. Okay. So right. if, if you're getting around that three or four beer limit, you're probably right around that limit. Now, when you're saying three or four beers, to clar clarify, within an hour, within two hours, within four hours? Within an hour. I mean, okay. you, do, you do burn some off naturally you okay. know, per hour. They, and I think the standard is almost a beer per hour. But that doesn't give you the, the excuse to keep getting more beers and more beers. And the other thing you have to take into consideration is the heat. You know, alcohol dehydrates you. So you have to be drinking something to rehydrate yourself, a lot of water. And that's a lot of our medical problems start is because people think they're drinking a cold liquid that is going to hydrate them. And we end up getting a lot of medical problems because people pass out. They get uh, heat exhaustion or alcohol poisoning, something like that. Again, it's, it's an education issue. Well, you know, we just had the folks on from Jose Cuervo that we were just on just, just a few moments ago. And one of the things that I love is that all of the companies, all the distilling companies, all the distribution companies are now actually part of the campaigns that say, Enjoy your drink, but drink, but drink responsibly. Right. And I know that they worked a lot with that with law enforcement and, 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 you know, trying to get this consistent message out. And some of the things may appear to be obvious or kind of like we're being a dead horse in the ground, but I really don't think so. I don't think you can be too cautious because it's not just about whether you got away with drinking and driving and got home, you know, before without getting caught. It's really about taking, jeopardizing your life, the passengers in your car's life, and the other people that you share the roads with right. and their lives. And that's really how I view it. And the, the whole responsibility aspect is there, there are other options. I mean, if you want to drink, bring a designated driver. There's people you can call. There's groups you can call to come pick you up, take your car home, take you home in a different vehicle, and um, or just not drink at all. Because mm -hmm. even though you're not over the limit, mm -hmm. let's say you blow a, an 06, you know, the legal limit's an 08, mm -hmm. you can still get charged with drunk driving. People don't realize that. Uh, it, you know, and it is. It's a little ambiguous in, in some of these areas. Under the influence, drunk, all these other things. And there's and there's a variance there. And alcohol affects people differently as well. Right. And th that's probably the biggest thing. When it comes to having a designated driver, if other if you if someone has been drinking and had too much to drink, and they have but they have a non 
a non-consuming designated driver. Right. Okay. Is that going to, is that, is that probably the smartest route to have? So that way then, if you've had too much to drink, just let somebody else just drive it home. Right. That's had nothing yeah. to drink. The, the designated driver shouldn't be drinking at all. Right. In fact, if you want to put like a little red band on him or, you know, something that says designated driver, that'd probably be the best thing. That way they know he shouldn't or she shouldn't be drinking or shouldn't be served alcohol. That's fantastic. Dave, as always, it's been hugely enlight enlightening. But I have to tell you, we're now two hours of breaking this party out. I promise I will be very, very responsible, as I know you will as well. I'll put you through the test. You'll put me through the test, and we'll turn around and have a great one. Thank you so much for spending the week with us here at Micha Khan. And we will see you again next week on Let's Talk News Now. You have yourself a great weekend. See you here. It was absolutely fantastic. I love that kind of stuff. I absolutely do. It's, it's going to be great. And what they're going to do is they're going to be running the credit roll.